Welcome to another great Raw Fists commentary from the heart for me to you because that's what I do. And if you don't know, Special Forces Team X. Team X is on Xbox Live Arcade. Hey, if you got a problem finding it, go to the search bar in Bing. Bing, 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 Bing. bing. You can search bar it because you're not going to find it in the game. So you're going to be looking around for it for five minutes. Just get that out of the way. So let me give you a little background on the company that developed this game. The name of the company is called Zombie. And uh, I know the guy who runs the show over there. And he did Black Light, Black Light Retribution, the first one. And he also did the second one. The first one was on Xbox Live Arcade. And then the second one to PC. So this is a return to the Xbox Live Arcade with Team X. You know, I'm presuming that there's a lot of money. This, you know, it's a new downloadable thing to be on. You want to start establishing yourself. You look at Notch from Minecraft making a hundred million dollars off Xbox Live Arcade. So naturally, everybody wants to, you know, get a piece of that pie. Which, you know, is going to lead into a lot of questioning to me. Like, you know, certain people like, why would you do these things? So, anyways. So the game is like this. It's it's built like this. The game has, you know, a lot of attributes from other games in it. For instance, like uh, all Call of Duty perks and things of that nature. Um, the color palettes and doing your character are like uh, Rainbow Six. And then the game itself, like you're seeing here, is like a mix between Graw and Gears of War with the cartoonish like look from uh, 13 if you are played from the original Xbox. Now this is a much more polished game. There are some things you get caught on corners like right there. Uh, when you start out the game, you know, the characters in general, when you, when you jump down, you lose your aim. That's another thing. You can't reload on the run. But when you start out with different color palettes, uh, with the enemy being light blue and you're being red, or vice versa, it never changes. So the thing is, is that you know you'll get confused. It just it should be uniform. If the enemy is always in highlighted in red, and it should be that way, but for some reason it's not like that. It's it's not like that. And it, there's no mini map. Uh, there is a mini map on the right lower right hand corner, which is amazing to me. Like I don't even understand that at all. Um. You know, that's another aspect of the game. Like I said, it's a third-person shooter. I mean, the game looks good. Uh, look here, I'm trying to get up here, and I can't get up here. <laughs> you get a 40-minute trial before you buy it. It's about 1,200 points. But the thing about it is, I mean, it's got a lot of great potential. And see, when you uh, kill people, your team maxes up, and you get these weapons. So right here, I got the minigun, and then after that... These are the things I'm saying, like Gears of War type thing. Like the mini sh minigun machine gun the uh chainsaw ak doom you know you roll around you move around and stuff so i like the maps i like the way the color palettes are i like the fact that they use the unreal engine for their game to me it's like i don't know like i'm just mowing these dudes down with the minigun but to me it's like i don't know you know uh what is the problem with companies and developers not taking what is going on right now? I mean, what is just this is the way it is. People just preferably like to play first person shooters. If third persons were so popular, there would be popular third person shooters all the time. But it's such a huge hit and miss, and some of them fail and die out so fast like Graw and I mean they didn't even make a game for they they, they skipped a couple series like it, Graw used to be every summer you would see a copy of Graw out. <coughs> and the same thing with Gears of War but these games I don't know what it is third person people are not feeling them or what the situation is I'm not feeling them I don't like third person I look at this and I go why wouldn't you take the best of everything and stick it into a first person shooter with this style, it'd be a huge hit. You get tons of that Xbox Live money, Xbox Live Arcade money. Why wouldn't you do it? Don't know why. 
don't have an answer to it. Uh, I'm sure I, I don't want to be rude and ask the guy on Twitter like how can you did you, why didn't you just make this a first person shooter? This game, I mean, I would totally be a cheerleader for this game if it came in first person shooter. And I think it's for the fact that they already tried with Black right Black Light Retribution and they didn't want to take another chance, but the Black Light Retribution was made on a Quake engine, which was an older real um real engine, I think. I don't know. It sucked. It was I mean the characters floated around. I didn't mind it, it was a great idea, but it's like it's like they gave up on the first person idea from their studio and they just went, Oh, let's go third person, let's try this out and see if it works. I'm not a fan of it. I think that Zombies is a great studio and they and you know, they are very innovative and they make things you know, they they can make things happen. And it's like I wish they would have did the first person shooter. Get a chainsaw to your neck. You know, I don't know what happened here. All I know is that I'm just like, I'm not feeling this game. I mean, it's cool and everything, but you know, in order to have a cool game that's online, you have to have people playing it. And you know, if there's nobody playing it, then it's not cool because there's no one to play. And that's the thing about it. Right now, it's first-person shooter. I don't think that's ever going to change. I think it's just going to get broader. Like, the the field of view is going to get better. They're going to work on things, innovate the, the first-person shooter. I don't know why they didn't go with first-person shooter on this game. It kind of upsets me. You see how much work they put into it. You know what? I hope they do really good and they sell a lot and they do it. For me, personally, it's not my cup of tea. I would say Shakedown would probably do a better review than me because he likes these type of games. I see it as an old school style of game. Like, you know, you're talking like people that go back in their late 20s, 30s, 40s. This is the type of game that they were brought up on. And I just don't think that's this generation. This generation is mostly first person shooter, innovative on first person shooter type games. I don't know any developers out there that are watching this please invite me to your studio I will save you tons of time and money and get your game right right out of the bat like I don't know EA is uh, doing focus groups for Madden so like every three months they fly out a group of people to check out the game in development and then they make improvements on it before they release it I don't know why none of these Activision companies do this. I mean, we're sitting there, we play this games constantly. 100,000, 50, 200,000 kill plus games. And they never call us out there to like see the progress. I mean, what do they think they're going to talk about their game and tell everybody about it? I mean, so fucking childish, you know? These these Call of Duty developers are so fucking arrogant and ch childish. I don't really... I can't put my hand, my my brain around it. Like we're trying to help your game. Any of these companies, God, man. If I had to, if I had these people that were on YouTube playing my game constantly, I would fly out a group of these guys every three months to fucking check my game, and be like, "Yo, what can I make better?" Cause I'm doing it for them. But I don't see none of this. Like it's like these guys just take a fucking big ball of fucking toilet paper. Dunk it in the fucking toilet and throw it at the wall and see if it sticks. That's the way I see these games. Anyways, fuck out of here. I'm done.